sisters that went through the same difficult time and in their own time how i will show you how they excel how they they were able to stand and to overcome the situation how it was possible for them to stand up and to keep moving on you know when when you when when, when uh, i i saw something in the bible and the, the bible says don't ever think that what you are going through that you are the only one who, are, who, is, who has gone through. Some, some people have gone through it before. And today we can, we can testify about them. So whatsoever we're experiencing in Nigeria presently, I, uh, I want you to know that something similar like that has happened in the Bible. He said there's nothing that comes to us that's like a challenge, a kind of problem that it has never happened before. And the reason why you are looking at it as if your own is difficult is because you have never gone through the word, the word of God, to know that such has happened before. But we will, I will show you today, because I showed you one last week, and I will still show you another one today, on some of the Bible characters. <laughs> you know, they have gone through difficult times, difficult season, difficult situation, and I will show you, I will, I will let you know today how they were able to overcome. They stood, you know, stood their ground and said, I'm not going to bend. <laughs> I'm not going to give up. I won't give in. How we excel, how we move forward. And today, the Lord will grant unto us out of understanding in the name of Jesus. I will show us Daniel and his friends in the book of Daniel today. How was it possible for them to overcome the situation, their own difficult season? They stood on their ground, and today we can as well talk about them. And I pray in Jesus' name, after the ups and downs. We shall be number one testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. People will testify about us in the name of Jesus. And ourselves will have confidence to come out and testify about God's goodness in our lives in Jesus' name. I want us in our uh, teaching to study Daniel and his friend. And uh, I will show us the first scriptural verse, uh, passage because the Bible makes us to understand that uh, uh, they, are, they are part of those, you know, that we can point to as a good example. And in the book of Hebrews, that will be our first scriptural reading, uh, I mean, verse, a Bible verse, in Hebrews 6, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 12. Let's open there, and everyone will rise to read the first scriptural passage this morning. Let's read together. Everyone on, the, on your stand, please. In God's honor. Hebrews 6 and verse 12. Hebrews 6, verse 12. Let's go one, two, three, and let's go together. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Let's read it one more time. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience do what? Inherit the promises. Father, we ask, grant unto us out of understanding this morning and teach through your servant in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. You can have your seat. <clears throat> Praise God. Where we read this morning shows us that we should follow those who through faith and patience inherit the promise. I love the word, those. T-H-O-S-E. Definitely some people have gone through what we are still going through or what we are about going through. You know, some people say, I'm in Jesus' name, you won't, you won't go through difficult times but I won't promise you that. <laughs> it's part of life. Let's say a woman is pregnant. Okay, has been believing God for, you know, to have a child. And you are believing God, you are believing God, you've prayed and prayed and prayed. You know, some people say, ah, God, just give me uh, four, four children. You are trying to tell God that you want to go through four experiences of labor. And okay, after being pregnant, and it's come to nine months, it is not possible for you not to at least Feel the pains of the child coming. But there, there shall be something for you to know that a new being is coming. That you must know that something somewhere, a baby, a child, a being, a new person is coming. Even you and your husband, the people around you will know that something fresh, something new is coming. So you go through that process before you can become a testimony. So, if for a, for a woman to say, for nine, I'm not going to deliver, I want the baby to still be inside me, but you want a child. How do you want it to happen? It must come through. And the passage will be difficult for the child to come through. So, we I cannot promise you a free 
uh, uh, of, of challenge, you know, will I say, a life free of challenges. It's not possible. You must go through one thing or the other. For you to be able to know that I am still a human being. Flesh is seen on me. Blood and water is running through me. That is what God, you know, for you to know that God is faithful. You must go through it. In fact, when God wants to uh, uh, bring to pass his promises concerning, concerning Adam, he asks, he makes him to do what? To, to sleep off. He removes something from his side for him to have a companion. So there is no how. No, no, you, you can't tell me that somebody will just say everything that will make you to know that God is God. You are still human being. Praise the Lord. So it means the word dose means co copy what they did. Dose. T-H-O-S-E. It shows that some people have gone through it before. So you going through it now, it's not difficult. Only for you just to copy their style and you will come out of it. Let's, let's see what they did, what he and his friend, you know, how they handled the problem. How was it possible for them to come out of their problem when they were taken into captivity? Number one, let's look at it. Number one, when they find themselves as slaves in Babylon. In Babylon, in Daniel chapter 1 from verse 1 to verse 7. When they find themselves as slaves in Babylon. I want you to tell me as a free person before. <coughs> Only for them to be kidnapped. And be, will I say, they are not even kidnapped. They were taken as a slave. Abby. And uh, uh, they, they captured them and they said, you are part of the slave. And in those days, whether, I don't know whether you have seen it before on the television, how they used to handle slaves in those days. <laughs> they would put chain, they would put all those things as if they are taking the... Ah, God, we have, God, we have mercy. And that was what they did to us. Nigerians, when they are taking us abroad in those days, it won't be your portion. Imagine in the spiritual realm how it will be when they say somebody is being taken as a captive. Definitely, it will be the same sign. They will put shame. I pray in Jesus' name, in any area of our life, we've been taken captive. The Lord will deliver us by His power in the name of Jesus. Look at it from verse 1 to 7. It says, In the third year of King Jehoiakim, King of Judah, Came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jer uh, Jerusalem and besieged it. Okay? And the king gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shimna to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. And verse 2 And the king spake unto As Ashpitanas, the master of his Enoch, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel out of a king's seed and of the princes. Verse 4. Children in whom was not blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom, and cunning in wisdom and understanding science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and whom they may teach the learning and the tongue of the children. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of wine, which he drank, so nourishing them three years, that at the end thereof they may stand before the king. Among those children were of, of children of Judah, that is Daniel, Ananias, Messiah, and Azariah. And verse 7, unto whom the prince of Enoch gave names, and he gave unto Daniel the name of Bethsasa, Shadrach, Meshach, and Ananias, and all sorts, and Abednego. Okay? Now listen. The Bible makes us to understand something here. From verse 1, they were taken as a captive. They were taken as a slave. They were taken as uh, someone that would just be taken and say, okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, they want to clear this gas. Go and do it. They want to do this. Go and... That was the situation they found themselves. It was not like that before they came to, the, to, 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 to this new king. They were free men. But they find themselves in this situation. And they were not disappointed in their God. They are serving God from where they are. If you read through this word, you will discover that by the time you read verse 8, 9, 10, like that, you will discover that they stood firm on their ground and said, we are not going to do what they said we should do. 
Because we know God. You know, so many of us, when we find ourselves in some situation, we blame God. We ask God why. We ask him, why is it like that? Is it, why is it that we are having challenges? Several of us will be crying in the night. Oh, why am I going through this problem? Oh, Lord, why is this and that? I want to show us in, from this scriptural passage that we just read that, see, that you are going through difficulties does not say God it does not exist to. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See, and this guy, we are not disappointed in their God. Instead, they trusted him more, even when they didn't understand what was happening. Uh -uh. Why is it that confident children are going through stress? So many of us ask questions. But there are reasons. With God, we can't question him. He understands what he's doing. Because in our generation, I think a man concluded, ah! Alone, alone. In fact, I've seen some people that will say God doesn't exist. There was one video I was watching. It was my husband that was showing me. This young guy was preaching, and ladies came. They, are, they were white. And they said, God, he doesn't exist. God doesn't exist. With all I'm going through, he's, there's no God. So they went closer to him. They want to slap him. Keep quiet. There's nothing God God. Because of what? The challenges they may be going through. And in our generation, we should know. Somebody will say, Jesus, that they are shouting on. Since I, they've given back to me, I am 50 years now. I've not seen Jesus. So that means he doesn't exist. But I want you to do that no matter what you are going through. God is God. And somebody will say, hey, we've not seen him before. But if you are not seen him before, you are not seen him Eh, one man saw you back way. Ah, your coin there. Ah, what day? God is faithful, whether we like it or not. Whether we are going through challenges or not, God is God, and there is nothing we can do about it. They were not disappointed in their God. Are you disappointed in your God because of the situation you find yourself? It should not be. They were not disappointed in their God. Instead, they trusted him and, and, and you know more. Even when they didn't understand what was happening. Covenant people don't break up. They don't break up with their God. When they face hard times, they don't break up. Just like what the choir said. You don't give up. You don't, you don't say, yeah, he doesn't see me to any pray, my God. But we pray at him on breaking that boy. You don't know that the more you are not praying, the more the battle is getting tougher. <laughs> the more the battle will be getting tougher. You know, you've faced some challenge. There was something I was, I was to, I was to, I was giving, and uh, some things came up. After the whole thing, I was like, what is going on? I felt like, God, why, where are you now? You promised me this. What is going on? The, until one day, the Holy Spirit just tapped me, say, do you know what I'm doing? Who don't for me? Have I ever disappointed you before? I said, no. <laughs> Why don't you trust me? It's for a reason. Just hold on. But it took me time. But thank God I was, I was not, I didn't stop my prayers. I didn't stop my time with him. My 3 a.m. still stand. I kept praying. I didn't even look at it again. Until when that word came to me. I said, calm down. I will do it at my own time. You don't know what I'm doing. You know? I will perfect it. By the time they show up, we show, you know, God will show himself, oh, it came in another direction. In a way I never expected. It came in a way that, oh, struggle with it. I may not have the capacity. And that's the reason why at times, eh, so many of us Christians, when we are being beaten, or maybe we are being, uh, we have crisis, we have challenges, we stop coming to church. We stop praying. We stop relating. We stop laughing. We stop, you know, being cheer up. We stop being nice the way we used to do because some people came up and they disappointed us in one way or the other. I would say, well, what is the meaning of this? Well, let me be. A shooty fair hold any any. Daniel and his friend, they trusted God because they know that God knows what He is doing. They know that their God will never decide. Even when they find themselves where 
they did not expect. The Bible says, even though he slay me, he said, I will still hold on unto him. Because faithful is he that call it. He would do it. As leaders, as workers, we should understand that God is faithful. You are going through some challenges. Even sometimes it may be over our children. God knows what he's doing. He wants you to be more committed to him. He wants, him to, wants you to come closer to him. Because he knows the beginning. He, I mean, he knows the end from the beginning. They trust God. They trusted in the almighty God. They know that he knows what he's doing. So I will, let, I will tell us this morning that we should learn to praise God for what he is doing in our life. And trust him that he is in control. When you face what you don't understand, trust God. When you are facing what you think naturally you're supposed not to find. Your, Daniel and his friends are supposed not to find themselves where they, 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 they find themselves in, in the Bible. But the, they, they trusted in their God. The, I will show you what, what makes us to know that they trusted in God. Because as we read on in that very particular verse, the Bible said that we are giving some things, but they heard on. Ah! But they know that God is doing something. Do you know that what you are passing through presently, even in Nigeria, God is doing something? He wants to bring something out of what we are going through. And until we trust in him, until we know that he's faithful, he's able, we may not come out of it because, oh man, fucking your learn. Learn and won't go. Have you ever seen in your dreams that maybe you find yourself wearing uniform all over again? You are in school writing exam. I don't know whether you have, you've been seeing that in your dream. You know, you've experienced that before. It shows you that God is telling you that you are still going through that training. Several times you may get the, the same dream about three, four times. I could remember there was a time I got a dream. Sat uh, Friday stroke Saturday. I woke up, I said, ah, this dream. <laughs> Me, I was like, maybe I'm thinking. On Saturday stroke Sunday again, this, on the morning, the same dream was a kind of, it continues. I don't know whether you have explained that. But the following day, ah. so when I woke up, I asked my husband, this dream, I got it from Friday to Saturday. From Saturday to Sunday. What is going on? My husband said, maybe, you know, the Bible said, once have I spoken, twice have I heard. The knowledge and the wisdom belongs to God. He, he's saying something to you. Maybe you should approach the person. So on Sunday morning, after the service, I called the person. I got a dream. This is the dream on Saturday to Sunday. I mean, Friday to Saturday. From Saturday to Sunday. What is going on? Are you into so and so? The person just broke down and said, ah! The person, I said, what is it? He said, Mama, what if you on I never knew. I did not. I mean, Rosing, so 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 I saw in my dream is true. Ah, ah. I said, Oh, no, on you. For him to reveal the dream from Friday to Saturday, Saturday to Sunday. God loves you. He wants you to correct that mistake. Please, do away from whatsoever evil. And why imagine alone? When God is saying something, oh mama, oh mama, come to your mind. Oh mama, come to your mind. At times you will find yourself in such a dream. We'll be repeating the class. He's saying something. To those of us who are spiritual, we should understand that he's saying something. If a tragedy repeats himself twice, God is saying something. If the situation you are passing through repeats inside the second, first, second, third time, God is saying something. Learn. But so many of us, out of, I am tired of everything. I don't want this situation. We will not learn what God wants us to learn at that moment. I'm, though I don't believe in punishment from God for you to learn. But when things like this happen, because I read no Bible, Osho Kwe, God is faithful. He wants to bring something out. So in our present situation in Nigeria, oh, ah, in those days, ah, ah, we contract Shemawa. He's trying to tell you that in this difficult time, save. Acquire more knowledge. Have different things to put, you know, in place so that you will not be stranded. Learn how to do what? Cope. Learn how to adjust. 
If a, a great spender, you spend anyhow. Learn. This level is teaching you something very important. When you face what you don't understand, try and praise God. Ask him questions. He's faithful. He will show you. He's saying something to you. So, that was the first way Daniel and his friend did what? Overcome their tough time. Let's look at number two. In Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. Daniel 1 8. Daniel 1 8. Let's see together. Daniel 1 8. Who is opening that? Okay, let's have it. 1 8. 1 8. 1 8. Okay, thank you. He says, but Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuch that he might not defy himself. Number two says, covenant people don't compromise their godly standard in difficult times. Covenant people don't do what? Compromise their godly standard in difficult times. Because they understand that God defends only those that defend their faith in him. Covenant people don't do what? Don't compromise their godly standard in difficult times. They don't compromise. They give them all the opportunity. Yes, you can eat as many times you like. You can eat anything. But Daniel and his friend discovered that whatsoever is being given to them in uh, Babylon has been sacrificed to their God first. Will have been sacrificed to their God. And they decided in their heart, I'm not going to bend. Is that your business that you are doing presently? You notice that some other people are thriving. They are okay. They are going on. And you wonder, some of them will say, I want to work on Kani, want she buy any, no she jack. And you two are not thinking towards that direction, you are compromising already. Come back, come back. In this situation of Nigeria, so many people are putting their hands into things that is not of God. Just because they want increase, they want money, they want fame, they want popularity. <laughs> if, you if I tell you what they are going through, you, would, you will not do it. So many sacrifices will be made, will be done, so that they can keep moving. They can be on the on the hub, on the front front. <laughs> but you don't know. You are a child of God, and you are like, what is going on? Why others are going on? And me, I'm not where they used to be, and I'm not where they are. Me, still I'm a big boys. Me, still I'm a big mamas. They have not yet started recognizing what I'm doing. My work is not thriving. And what is going on? Let me tell you. Be like Daniel in this difficult time. Covenant people don't compromise their godly standard in difficult time. Because we understand that even though he slay us, he will still look for a way to bring us out. Don't compromise your faith. I could remember one of our brothers then, he got a shop and inside the shop, he never knew. He just packed in and after some time, the owner, the person that left the shop called him and said, He said, He said, If you see anything coming on from your business, it's because of the Igbaje that I put inside is something. And I want you to pay for it. That one said, You think I did not bargain for this? I am a child of God. I can't do that. Maybe get what big bag again. No, won't. This is the time because after they said they told me that after so and so so months, that's when the the blessing of that thing will be coming up. And, and now that I have another thing, we in uh, another place. I don't know. You are the one that will benefit from that big bag. He said he doesn't want. They were on it. I don't know how they. He just called our uh, father in the Lord. He said, sir, so 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 thing is happening. Can you help me? I want to bring the Igbaje out. So that the person will not be thinking it's because of the Igbaje that I'm making it. I'm, I'm thriving. I want you to help me to, re to, to remove it from the ground. 
Actually, we went there. Igba ye ye wa mbelo to. O ma fe to be ya mi ji abi nkan ta ba. Igba ta ma shi. Ah. Ah. My people, let's wait for God. Let's wait for God. Because God is ever faithful. Inside the calabash that we saw under the something was being a means, a beans, a wa. We are all loin. We saw it. Oh, she she fema. When you put beans on the floor, oh my brother, sini wu a wa yano kan. I don't know. That was how we made that thing. Ko iti din kaka o. Emi lo wo wo la ma ba mi ba yin. I don't know what I'm, I'm trying to tell. They will cajole you people. Okay, okay. After the whole thing, they said the glory. Ah, it will come. It may not come. I saw a guy on the on the your this uh, your TikTok. What do you call it? They brought him out. Twenty year old killed his father by himself. He did not deny it. And they asked him, "Why did you cut your father's uh, private part? What do you want to do with?" It? He said, "Oh, only oh, 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 lani." Almost 20 years. This is our generation. 2023. Abby? I saw it live. Only they, they, they asked me to go and bring those things, the part of my father's. Uh, this, and my father refused to die. So I help him so that we can go there. We, that was how he was saying it. Almost told dad you. Oh, you I said, why? As I was showing my husband, my husband said, Oh, my lady, dad you. He said, he, my father refused to die. So I help him. So that we can enjoy. So he now called the private man. They now ask him, since you have given that part to the abalis, have you started saying money? Only oh, only 50, 50,000. Only 100, 100,000. They now say, is this still flowing? They say, where are the money? The ones you have seen. He said, we are spending. He said, you are who? Only me and my siblings. And my friends. They now ask, have, have, is the money still flowing like that? He said, oh, 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 Before the, the police caught him. 100,000, 50, 50,000. Oh, they called in the young. Oh, no, our generation. Please don't compromise your faith. No matter the situation. Ah, Chebi just to give you soap. Go and use it to wash and bathe in the bedroom. You will see how your sales will be coming. For what reason? Do you know the repercussion? Do you know what that thing will require from you? This is our generation 2023. You must be very careful. <laughs> Don't compromise your godly living. Don't compromise your, your, your faith because of the difficult time that we find ourselves. Convenant people don't do or don't compromise their God listen in difficult time because they know they understand that God defend those who defend their faith in Him. If you defend Him, He will defend you. If you deny Him, He also will deny you. According to the book of Matthew 10 33. Don't allow your situation to take hold of you. For if you live for Him, He will show Himself in your life. He's a faithful father. Daniel chapter 1, verse 15 to 20. Let's have it on the screen. On the screen. Daniel 1, 1, uh, 1 chapter 1, 15 to 20. It may go, look at it. He said, and at the end of 10 days, their countenance appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children, which did eat the portion of the king's meat. <laughs> Several people are doing... Like the business I'm into, so many people are adding some things to it. Shine and let me shine my own. We go there, shine, shine, shine together. Shine your own, I go shine my own. Your own shine, no be my own shine. In my own time, I will shine. So why am I competing? Why did I want to be like you? In our generation, the most people don't believe that they are buying low money here. They will go and start buying. For what reason? There is nothing you can buy. My husband used to say, "She can go and go out there and go and go and get the woman. She can't. I won't. I won't. I won't push myself to where I do not belong. Can't I afford it? I can't afford it. But I have things I need to do. 
When it is time for me to start using it, I will laugh. Ma mo ko mo ti shishe mi tan mo ti she to ti yori o ti ewo o ti iroko o ti esese ra la ile ni o iroko be o ifi o igbi nkan kan sori e nkan kan o ti germinate o ti so fun gbogbo yan ah te ba roko mi te ma doko mi why are you who are you impressing why are you on a run over what is not in this generation Convenient people don't compromise. Convenient people don't join groups. They wait for God to perfect all that concerns them. <laughs> because if you don't live for God, he will not show himself in your life. From verse 15 to 20, it shows us that they were given the best. They were put in a good position. If we read, we will not be able to finish up. If you get home, you can go and read that scriptural passage. Verse 15 to 20. Make us to understand that we are better. And they now put them where they belong. They, but you remember the sacrifice they made. They didn't join others. They did not do it. They did not do it. They waited. They waited for God. I can't remember what my children used to go ahead. They did not join Pablo's. They waited for God and God justified them. I saw so many things on the internet. Things that are trading. So many things. Young, young guys are just killing themselves over nothing. Young ladies are killing themselves because they want to, com they want to compare. The one that really touched me, that really... ah, I was so broken that day. I was... I don't know. When I say I was just, I was spitting the woman. The lady that just finished from uh, uh, Lee City. The day of her convocation, Ganga Oshetan, my money girl, Lolly, only know, mommy, I want to, I want to, I want to join my friends. Joining, you know, look, Marie. In Kototi the mother was still on in debt. Do you understand the point? I want, the, 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 she cannot afford that school, but because she wants the best for her daughter. Who will console that kind of a woman? Please, our children, our teenagers, don't disappoint your parents because you want to join the gang. You want to train uh, 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 my, my mates are on that level. You want to join the level. No! It may take time, you will get there. Convenient people don't compromise. In this our, 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 our level, I got to a place one day and we were discussing. Somebody just come, came out with uh, Italian shoes. I'm back. Me, I was even thinking it's uh, like 15,000, 20,000. Only for them to bring 85,000. 120,000. 130,000. 150. And say, hey, I'm going to show you I'm going to show you how they're fine. Ah, ah. This thing is fine. No wonder. I used to see it in mommy. Like, I just. Okay, she has the combination. She has different colors. Mushamba won't con. Ni won't con. The person says, So, which color do you want to? I say, Eh? Eh, me. Muni muli rao bo me ti to be by. Eh, muli le rao bo me ti to be. Eh, me. Not this time, oh. The person look at me and say, Ah, eh, ah, we, ah, you, you can afford it. I say, Ah, I can afford it. Eh. Oh, yeah, me. Muni won't be like, Eh, ever worry. Eh, I'm so funny. I'll come back for it. If I make Jinny Mara, Mara Colloy, Mara Colloy, <laughs> just for them to allow me to escape. Will I go and enter depth because I want to belong? Somebody is wearing it. Ah, ah. Convenient people don't compromise. God is counting on you. He doesn't want you to disappoint him. So don't disappoint God. He won't disappoint you. You don't disappoint him. Don't join others because. Mushan fed, Mufe, Mufe, and you know, fed show. Man show in your coco. Jackie alone be the one that will be leading you. And you will see joy and happiness in it. Number three. In Daniel 2 17 to 19. Daniel 2 17 to 19. Can we quickly read? We don't have time. Let's do that quickly. Daniel 2 17 to 19. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Ananias, Michelle, and Azariah, his companions. Number 18. <coughs> Who is there? Let's be quick. 
We don't have time. Let's open. Okay. 18. We've not. You didn't give us 18. And they will desire mercies of God, of heaven, concerning this secret. That Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. And verse 19. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in the ninth vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Number three, confident people understand and engage the power of prayer as their major tool for victory. Confident people understood and engage the power of prayer as their major tool for victory during difficult times. They understand that when things are hard, you don't go crying. You don't go and start joining others and be saying, ah, Nigeria, you and by, you are joining the, hey, I, I went for, I was trying to prepare for the resumption, so I went to the market to get something. The guy that we are talking, I never knew what, something, he just came up with one issue and he was discussing it. Ah, do you see uh, uh, the car they used to carry so and so person somebody that came from prison they used it to shake it they uh, as the person was saying it I said I was like I said eh, it is well Nigeria is good God will help us me I was just saying my own thing when I got there I was not asking my children I said well, did you is there any news driven on the internet or what is going on they now say, so 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 so, came back and they gave him a brand new, they bought him a new car to welcome him from prison and this and I said, maybe that's what the man was saying. Because as for me, you are discussing something, I'm speaking in tongues on the bike. The man would think maybe I'm talking to him. Do you understand? Maybe that's the reason why he was saying his what hit him off he drop. <laughs> I was like, they welcome. Me, I don't have time for that. My own is let me let me treat, let me also be blessed. Let me also blow in God's way. Not that I, they, uh, their own issue will be my problem. I'm praying 24-7. I have alarms. If it will not, three, nine. My children will say, for what? This one is for what? This one is for what? 3 a.m. in the night. Oh, my, do not. Every three, I'm praying. When I don't have power of my own, I will consult the higher power that will help me. Me, in the big me, in the church, at least I should have somebody that can help me. I will need to keep calling unto him. Confident people understand and engage the power of prayers. I will, will keep saying this on this altar. Prayer is number one. When it comes to issues that are difficult or too tight for you, go to God in prayers. Crying or seeking help from one pillar to post cannot save the problem, cannot, cannot solve it. The way Daniel approached the, the matter shows us the level of faith Daniel has in prayer to God. Below, how do you see your prayer life? Because Daniel's faith in his prayer life was very high. No wonder he was even willing to die in the lion's den instead of losing his prayer life. If your prayer life is dying, this is the most important time that you make it to come back to life. Have time for prayers. When others are saying there's a casting down. Because you are a man and woman of prayer, you will arise and say there's a lifting up for you. You get to your place of work in the morning, you cash a kadaba. The devil God that doesn't want people to come and make business with you will be afraid and say, Oh my kashakadaba, let me run. Me ologisa. Me in yeah, but him agbe. I will keep calling unto him. He will answer. The Bible said, though it may tarry, it will definitely come at his own time. God will answer. If we have that faith in God, we will know that we will, we will come out of this situation. When others are, are make, you know, finding it difficult, you will just be, you know, being joyful, rejoicing in him because he has settled your matter. So Daniel and his friend understood and engaged the power of prayer. They engaged in prayers. They understood what they can do. And the Lord answered them in their own difficult times. So let's have the, that as number three. Number four. In Daniel 6, from verse 1 to verse 4. Daniel 6, 1 to 4. We may not read. I will just give us what is there. Covenant people understand that 
That excellence is what makes them, okay, excellence is what makes them, you know, not to lose their place. They know that the world is so competitive and that it is only there, uh, only those that does what is expected of them, well, that will remain at the top. They understood the power of being an excellent person. An excellent spirit was in them. If you don't have the, uh, uh, how will I call it? The Bible says, I, I, I always quote that scripture, even to all my, 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 my people that we are working together, my, my team workers. I used to tell them, I said, the Bible says, and Jesus did everything well. An excellent spirit will make you to do things, all things well. If you possess an excellent spirit, you will do all things well without any complaint. So Daniel and his friends understand what it means to have an excellent spirit. So it makes them to stand out. It makes them to be different from others. I can't imagine having a place, you know, where to put children and things are not being done. I would rather stay there myself. I was there till around nine yesterday. My husband was calling. We are, I got home 10 o'clock. He got to say, the guy that was with me, when it was 7 o'clock, I said, you want to be going? Be going home, leave me. He was like, mama, she, go. He said, no, go, 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 you enjoy them. That is me. I begin to make beautiful things there that can get them attracted. You know when children enter school and they say, wow, they were supposed to do this. That, I love that. So I was there. When my husband called me, it's 9 o'clock. I said, share me while I'm coming. And I left home for. Imagine, I left the level four just because I want to come and do that thing. And I told him, be going. Thank God, one for me. One, you know, I'm going to move on, Miss Apple. An excellent spirit. Do you think it is easy? Is it not expensive? It's expensive and it demands more work, more energy. And that's the reason why you should work on yourself. You must not be given anything and you, are, you can't do it anyhow. They know that what is a competitive and that it is only those that does what is expected of them that will do or remain at the top. And get opportunities. Excellency is all about doing what? Doing everything well. Whatsoever that has been given to you, an excellent spirit will make you to do everything well. The people will look at you and say, Ah, Mufe patronize. Jacking Beshe Wafu. Jacking Wu. Hey, hey, uh, hey, I'm trying my best to make sure I, 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 the spirit of excellence is inside of me. But it's not working. People are still complaining. Keep doing. You will not be a master one day. You will not master that in one day. You will keep falling. Mm, you keep going. You fall, you come up again. You fall, you come up. I have a quote on our wall in the school. I saw it and I copied it. This is a learning uh, environment. Mistakes is possible. We correct ourselves. We adjust. I, I put it there. So if you are looking for a perfect place, this place is a perfect place. But you may see some reasons for you to say, one share that I am still growing. I'm I'm Does that stop him from working? Or stop her from working? I could remember when I was raising Orella. He stood on the chair one day and he somersaulted from that staircase to the down. Oh, God, he ain't going to be. Does that stop him from climbing the chair again? No, now. The only thing we just remind you remember you fall from that place. Have you Apple? We keep telling him, Oriola, you will fall again. So he too will do what? We adjust himself. But that you will not fall, you will not be making mistakes. It's a lie, yo. Don't let, me, don't let me promise you that there won't be. No, you, are, you want to possess an excellent spirit. You want to do all things where you will make mistakes sometimes. 
Tomati make a mistake. Don't sit there. Keep moving. Shake off yourself. Ah, mofon boom be mofon. I do tell myself, oh, that's me. Oh, ah, but some she mistake. Oh, koye kin song kanti mofon be ye. Yes, the deed has been done. Don't sit there because the more you are sitting there, you are just disvaluing yourself. You will be going down. But shake it off. Ah, one parrot teacher, one shaking it I shake it off. That's their own problem. And you roll soft, you roll soft stuff for control to our family. It's more so when you're mewa. Ah, ah. Organi Yamuda. Timmy, they thought of me, Yawo. Oh, Organi Yamuda. I shake it off. Eh, we will move our children. Move them. I did not break them. <coughs> move them. I'm still growing. I eat a mashata. Come on. There, them say. That is me. I would do as if I did not hear. Because I'm going somewhere. You can't stop me. Communal people don't give up. You keep moving. You keep trying. You keep moving. I want to deny that you want to share mistakes several times. So if you are now say, ah, I'm not bag for bag in your dead dad now. What go pada? What wada pada be? Brian Yola. I said, what's nonsense? Learn off why? They may return it. I want to return it. Do you know that the same thing don't return? I want me agba. <laughs> it happens to me several times. Hey. In Kota one consequent warfare, they want to go and help me to bring some children from far. And they pay everything from head to toe. Be more sure when you're told, bah, money man of God, egg bam me. In Kota one, what day? Moses said, What? I said, Me, more quick, be told on fake by your simile. You see, God, God, if you keep moving, He won't stop you. So don't give up. In this time of these challenges, you don't give up. No. You keep moving. I, I could remember when I started this cosmetic store. Down the road, there, yeah, all what I had in my hand was 10,000. I rent the shop. Shop with Toby Janga Jungle. 10,000 naira out Jalara. People, my family will come. Hey, we are missing 10,000. There is a particular lady that used to come to my shop then. He will, she will come and say, after I can come, go see. <laughs> the first day, we'll say that. She will come again, go see. She now, do you know that this lady now turns into an habit? Whenever she's coming, she will come again. I feel like, oh, friend, what's that way? Go see. When there's more way, you need. Know? Do you know that? As the thing was going, the day I met her at the stadium, I went for a training, and I met that day. She laughed and said, Madam, how are you? Ma? I said, How are you too? Oh, I have a small shop there. I said, Do you have so and so, so thing? I want to make you do I just see. You don't despise the humble beginning of any man. I am not where I used to be. I have moved. But if you allow people to discourage you, the excellent spirit will not possess you. You will not, this will come up. Because the more you are falling, you are just. As in, you stand up. <coughs> I just a small child that you are saying, leave that place, don't put your hand in the fire. I say, leave the gas, don't touch it. The boy and the girl want to know what is inside. Why is this something coming out? <coughs> Why is mommy always going closer? Oh, fair for work, oh, feel it. In those days, our parents would say, leave the child. Let him or her touch that lantern. Tobati Joe. <laughs> Next time, from afar. Ah. This one can bomb you. This thing can, he will not go closer. An excellent spirit in body. Yeah. Oh, not in mature. Yeah. There are some things he will not do again. So if you are saying you are running for challenges, if you can't complain, why complain? Should he be complaining anyway? That's a good thing. Book good character. You will be good in what, whatsoever you are doing. When you cannot. When you are not doing well, God will not be happy. An excellent spirit you must possess. Do well that nobody will be able to replace you. Somebody Lagbaja. Ah! Ah! Lagbaja is still my best so 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 person. In doing this, he is the best. Remain the best. But you keep trying. You keep trying. Daniel was relevant throughout his lifetime. If this king come on, on, on stage, 
Daniel was part of his committee. If this one come up, they used to request for king for, for Daniel. King will request for him. He must be among my cabinet. Because an excellent spirit was inside of him. How can you possess an excellent spirit? You keep praying and you keep trying. You don't give up. You don't do it well one time. It doesn't make you to stop. You keep trying. You keep trying. You keep trying. If it about the shubulene, stand up, shake up the beast and move on. Stand up and... Do you remember? It was in my husband that was sharing that story with us here. He said there was a donkey. Mistakenly fell inside a dish and it was... People would pass and say, ah, ha, 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 It was there. They were thinking, they were making jest of him. They would use uh, their dustbin. They pour it on inside the, the hole. That one would shake it off. It will come on it. Another person will come up, pour their this thing on it. Shh, it will shake it off again, 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 again. Come on it. Like that, they, like that. They help him to help up. Dirty. He stood on it and he came out. That should be somebody's testimony as I'm talking this morning. That should be something that will encourage you to move on. They say, ah, come on, shit, but she share for you by yak, yak, I don't show nonsense. And you just make up your mind, I'm not going to do it. Let me leave this business. It seems they are complaining. Ah! He no complain, he no complain, he no complain. Shake it off. Shake it off and try, try again. Shake it off and try it again. I mean good thing, you. <laughs> no, not the bad one, no. Shake it off. In your hard work, shake it off. In this our era, yes. Is it those who are me? Uh, we find a lot. Me and my daughter, we are looking for something. We, what? Different competition. We are in a competitive world. Different things are going on. People are, one more, conjure one. And that's the reason why you should keep learning. They come for a meeting, you go. Ah, on so and so something, you go. On so and you don't give up until when you master it. Do you think those who are still on the top are not going for learning? They are still going to go and learn more. Like when she ain't, no, she ain't, no, she ain't giant. If you just stop at where you are, what's it, plateau in here? They will ride on you, and they will go. They will keep going, and you'll be looking at their back. I want you to stand on your back. Make up your mind. I'm not going to give up. In this era, in this season of difficulty, I'm going to make it. I'm going to thrive. Can somebody say that in prayer this morning? Can you bow down your heads and begin to tell God that no matter what happens, no matter the tough time in Nigeria, although I am I will thrive. I will make it. Nothing will stop me. An excellent spirit I will possess. I will do well. In my business, I will do well. In the ministry, I will do well. No matter what so anybody says about me, I will thrive. I will do well. In the name of Jesus. Though it may still mislead me, but I will hope on him. I will trust in my God because he has the solution to my problem. I will not give up. I will not give in. I will make it. And get to my place of destiny. I will survive this season. In the mighty name of Jesus. When men are saying there is a cast down for them. I will arise and say. There is the lifting up for me. All things that my hand find it to do. I will do it well. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you father for we know you have answered our prayers this morning. For in Jesus precious name. We have prayed. Shall we rise on our feet. Almighty God, we thank you this morning. Thank you for your word that you have passed across to us. That uh, you, have, you have made us to understand how to excel, how to overcome the difficult time, difficult season in Nigeria. We believe we trust in you. We are not going to be like the people of the world who are adding extra things, consulting other God. But we will depend and trust in you, our God, because we know you never fail us. Jehovah. Give us the grace to keep holding on and to keep pushing in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us not to give up. Help us not to give in. Help us to stand and remain with you in the mighty name of Jesus. That even in all the situations, we will continue to enjoy your goodness. We will continue to enjoy your mercy. And an excellent spirit will be, will be finding us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We commit our weeks to your hands, O God. Go ahead of us. Glorify yourself. Subdue every evil. Every plan of the devil, 
in front of us. We subdue them in the name of Jesus. We ask that your name shall be glorified. We shall be favored. We shall be blessed. And we shall return with testimony. Thank you for you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship? After the count of